General Electric cutting its dividend by 50% on Monday, sending shares tumbling. But if history is any indication, the cut could actually be a buying opportunity. According to S&P Global, four of the largest dividend cuts ever outside of the financial crisis were ConocoPhillips in 2016, Abbott Labs in 2012, Pfizer in 2009, and Kinder Morgan in 2015. All but one saw double-digit gains over the next year. Now the question is, does this mean GE is a buy? Welcome to Trading Nation. Today we've got Chad Morganlander from Washington Crossing Advisors, and Matt Maley is here with Miller Tabak. All right, that's enough talking from me. Matt, let's go to you. What do you think about GE right here? Well, it's funny. I, uh, I was quite negative on the stock when it was in the mid-20s, around 25, and I said it could go down into the, into the teens, down to 17 and $18 and, on, on a technical basis, and that's pretty much where we are right now. Um, I'm surprised we didn't get a little bit of a buy the news reaction today, but I, I still think we could. I mean, one of the things about this, though, is we just have to step back. It reminds me what, you know, one of the best calls I ever made was about 10 years ago in the Japanese market. And I said, Jesus, uh, we're at 8,000 8, here on the Nikkei. And, uh, you know, is Japan really going to fall into the Pacific Ocean? Uh, not necessarily jump in with both feet, but if you pick away at it every quarter just a little bit uh, over the next couple of years, uh, 10 years from now, you're going to look pretty good. I think it was the same thing with General Electric. A little bit of faith base there that the, that the uh, uh, CEO, new CEO can turn things around. But you pick away at it uh, over the next couple of years. It may take a while. Uh, I think 10 years from now, you're, look, you're going to look real good. Other things will, will outperform, just like other things have outperformed the Japanese market over the last 10 years. But I think it's going to be a solid one. Uh, GE is not going out of business. All right, Chad, let's turn to you. Matt did just drop us with two humble brags that he did pick GE going to 17, 18. And then he mentioned his best trade ever from the Asian market. So <laughs> Chad, you may need three positive things to get right. us going here. Well, uh, we don't own the stock, and we would be a hold if you did own it. Uh, you have a couple of problems here. One, about 90 to $100 billion of debt. That's what General Electric has on their balance sheet. Now, also, they did drop their, their dividend by 50%, but they did the same thing regarding earnings for 2018 by 50%. So the expectation is a little over a dollar in earnings per share. The company is going to be breaking up, and they're going to keep three divisions, of which one is healthcare, which could provide some consistency of free cash flow, as well as one is on the aviation side. But overall, I would be somewhat more balanced with this approach, not go in and be an aggressive buyer as of yet. They have to show some consistency on the free cash flow side before we would go and recommend it as a buy. Uh, you could see, potentially, 36 months out or greater, that they actually break up the three divisions that they're hoping to uh, consolidate into in 2019. Uh, but it remains to be seen. This, again, is perhaps an information uh, situation where we need to see additional information to confirm uh, if you should be fully engaged in the company. At this point, we'd be hold and we'd be underweight if you did own it. Yeah, so it does seem a little murky, right? So you guys don't have it. Matt's talking about, oh, this is the end of the down move that he would have predicted, which then suggests, you know, a new move to begin. It's not really clear where it's going to go. So it does remind me, though, if a lot of people feel like maybe this is the end of the bottoming out period, you know, that could just suggest, how do I put it? You know when, like, the market says, oh, I think that's the end of it, and then usually that's when it keeps on going down because everyone's just waiting to buy and then they don't get in? Well, Justin. let me just add a couple of things. Yeah. General, General Electric uh, was a hallmark for consistency and stability with great amount of clarity, uh, with very little opacity. And you have the complete opposite here with this company at this point. And the company did go up early on once the announcement came about the dividend cut. But once you saw, saw the slide deck in the investor presentation, that's when the stock started to sell, sell off drastically because there were more questions than answers from that meeting. That's a good point, that maybe it's not really just about the dividend in this case, but a broader right. corporate spin-off, breakup, earnings. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, we'll end yeah, with it, Matt here. Uh, just It kind of reminds me a little bit of IBM back. I mean, it's this stalwart company that had been so great in the early 90s. And uh, of course, it, uh, they cut slash their dividend dramatically. Uh, and the thing is, the company's bounced back nicely. However, 
you've done a lot better in a lot of other stocks than IBM. So GE would be a nice, like I said, pick away. This is not something you want to, I totally agree with Chad. You don't want to jump in with both feet. But if you want to pick away, you should do well over a very long period of time. But uh, uh, let's not get, I don't want to get too excited about the stock, that's for sure. I could see somebody maybe buying some really out of the money, long dated options here and taking a flyer that that might turn out to be the way to go a couple years down right. the road. But that could be another chat for another day here on Trading Nation. My thanks to Matt and Chad for joining me. I'm Eric Chummy. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.